Could you explain what is a QVL list of yeah. a memory? So, yeah, so the QVL list is kind of, again, it's a really tricky one because I see a lot of people, they always make this recommendation. That they're like, oh, just buy memory that's on the QVL and this will assure that it'll run. And actually it doesn't. Uh, and I know people might find that surprising because they're like, but wait, you're the motherboard manufacturer. What do you mean? Isn't the, QV, the whole point of the QVL? No, the QVL you want to think about is almost like a proof of concept, but it's not just, it's, it, it is a real proof of concept because we actually have to run it at that speed. The difference though is again, if we take what are the three things that at least on the highest level influence memory speed, it's the CPU, the kit of memory, right? And the motherboard, right? Well, on the QVL, what could we 100% guarantee? We can guarantee that kit and we can generally pretty be pretty consistent by consisting the motherboard, but we can't confirm or control the quality of that CPU, which is what you have as a user and you're putting in, right? And so this is where a lot of users get tripped up because they're like, QVL says it, my motherboard says this on the spec page that it can support this, right? And I know in general, just Intel supports this CPU frequency, so why can't I get there? Well, guess what? That IMC, which has variants, that's the part that you can't. So that's the part that you kind of always just have to account for.